Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Sunday, April the 30th. It's the fourth Sunday of Easter and week three in the Psalm Cycle. And thanks for joining me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, O oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. Alleluia. Psalm 63. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, O oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. I gaze on your power and your glory, and I see you in your sanctuary. Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I bless you while I live. I lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the night watches, because you have been my help, in the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul follows hard after you. Your right hand upholds me. But those that seek my life to destroy it shall go to the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword, and they shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that swears by God shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. Alleluia. The Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. Love righteousness, you rulers of the earth. Think of the Lord in goodness, and seek him with sincerity of heart, because he is found by those who do not put him to the test, and manifest himself to those who do not distrust him. For perverse thoughts separate people from God, and when his power is tested, it exposes the foolish, because wisdom will not enter a deceitful soul or dwell in a body enslaved to sin. For a holy and disciplined spirit will flee from deceit and will leave foolish thoughts behind and will be ashamed at the approach of unrighteousness. For wisdom is a kindly spirit, but it will not free blasphemers from the guilt of their words, because God is witness of their inmost feelings and a true observer of their hearts and a hearer of their tongues. Because the Spirit of the Lord has filled the world, and that which holds all things together knows what is said. Therefore those who utter unrighteous things will not escape notice, and justice, when it punishes, will not pass them by. For inquiry will be made into the counsels of the ungodly, and a report of their words will come to the Lord to convict them of their lawless deeds, because a jealous ear hears all things, and the sound of grumbling does not go unheard. Beware then of useless grumbling, and keep your tongues from slander, because no secret word is without result, and a lying mouth destroys the soul. Do not court death by the error of your life, or bring on destruction by the works of your hands, because God did not make death, and he does not delight in the destruction of the living. For he created all things so that they might exist. The generative forces of the world are wholesome, and there is no destructive poison in them. And the dominion of Hades is not on earth, for righteousness is immortal. Here ends the lesson. Alleluia, O sing to God, most high, a new song, for God has done marvelous things. Alleluia. Psalm 98. 
Please recite it with me. Alleluia, O sing to God most high a new song, for God has done marvelous things. God's right hand and God's holy arm have gained the victory. God most high has given salvation. God's righteousness has been openly shown in the sight of the heathen. God has shown mercy and truth toward the family of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise to God most high, all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Sing to God with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a psalm with trumpets and the sound of cornet, make a joyful noise before God Most High, our ruler. Let the sea and all that is in it roar, the world and all that live there. Let the floods clap their hands and let the hills be joyful. Before God Most High, for our God comes to judge the earth, with righteousness shall God judge the world and the people with equity. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. O oh, sing to God most high a new song, for God has done marvelous things. Alleluia. The first letter of Peter, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. Now, as an elder myself, and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as one who shares in the glory to be revealed, I exhort the elders among you to tend the flock of God that is in your charge, exercising the oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you do it, not for sort of gain, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those in your charge, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will win the crown of glory that never fades away. In the same way, you who are younger must be subject to the elders. And all of you must clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Discipline yourselves. Keep alert. Like a roaring lion, your adversary, the devil, prowls around, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in your faith, for you know that your brothers and sisters in all the world are undergoing the same kinds of suffering. And after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, support, strengthen, and establish you. To him be the power forever and ever. Amen. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world, for the mission of the church that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Jennifer Ann, our bishop, for Brother Joe, our community servant, and for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the poor, for the hungry and the thirsty, and for the destitute and unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Joe, our president, for Katie, our governor, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, for Zelensky and Putin and the leaders of the nations of the world, 
that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, salvation and glory and honor and power to our God. Alleluia. A canticle from the Revelation to John. Please recite it with me. Alleluia, salvation and glory, and honor and power to our God. For true and righteous are God's judgments. For God has judged the great whore, which corrupted the earth with her fornication, and has avenged the blood of the saints at her hand. Alleluia, and her smoke rose up forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Praise our God, all you servants of God, and all that fear God, both small and great. Alleluia, for God omnipotent reigns. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to God. For the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his bride has made herself ready. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, salvation and glory, and honor and power to our God. Alleluia. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, who's working in us, can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Happy Easter.